The Last of Us 2 plot lines have been leaked all over the internet, supposedly by devs that were working on the game. In lieu of this, fanboys have been rejoicing. However, how both groups in celebration of this could actually be cutting off their nose to spite their face. Let's get into it. What's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, people? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor before we get into this one. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up. Y'all know the deal, y'all know the reason, and y'all know the slogan. I am not too proud to ask. Let's get into it. Okay, so before we really start this one, let me be upfront and honest. Normally what I do before I do a video is I do like extensive research, I pull out articles or um, examples or you know different different citations of things um, in regards to the subject matter that I'm about to discuss I didn't do that here because I didn't want to spoil the plot line myself you know what I'm saying for myself rather in regards to what's being leaked out there so a lot of this is coming secondhand from what I'm seeing on the internet, which is being stated over and over again. Now, I know I always preach that just because something is being regurgitated through the internet doesn't make it true. So I'm not gonna speak in definites about things that I'm not 110% sure of, but the things that I'm very comfortable in mentioning, I'll explain to you why, okay? Um, so keep that in the back of your thoughts as we go over this video. With that being said, the story is, is that The Last of Us 2 plotline has been leaked all over the internet. Uh, apparently major points of the plot line and even the ending is being put all over the place and this is something that has become regular for playstation games right um i think something like that happened with god of war you know major playstation games that are to be embroidered in heavy story for some reason they get leaked out on the internet and you get fanboys of other consoles rejoicing <laughs> you know tap dancing and rejoicing and that's sad because that doesn't make their platform any better that another one falls down you still got to come out with good product right right with that being said um i i'm having a hard time understanding why this game which for me i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not the biggest uh naughty dog fan let alone sony games fan all of you that follow my content you're fully aware of that i am a gameplay guy and halfway through last of us 2 i mean the last of us the first one it i lost my interest because the gameplay just wasn't there it was all about story and getting you engrossed in the story and i'm not one of those type of gamers that being said the last of us 2 was my game of show the year it was shown right or the year that it was debut where they were showing some of the crazy stuff going on there and i have next to cyberpunk 2077 i've been highly anticipating playing this title right so even though i'm a gameplay guy i'm intrigued about what i see this is this is going to be a really intriguing game and for those that are console fanboys of other platforms don't believe the garbage from them. Well, I really don't care. That's why I'm celebrating this. Um, I'm celebrating this leak because they're going to be the first ones that clap like a baby seal whenever a Naughty Dog or a Sony dev goes to their camp. You know what I'm saying? Both can't exist in the same space at the same time. Either you don't care about the... the, the what go, the intricate parts of sony development is nothing special to you or they are special to you and you're happy that the people that have put that put together that content is coming over to your camp but that's here nor there right it's sad because i don't think that um people are really putting everything in perspective if this is true right like first and foremost it's dumb from the devs okay like the devs are here and they're doing this supposedly leaking this information because naughty dog is horrible at crunch and they've been treating them and their colleagues horribly right but what doesn't make sense to me is if you leak this information and people lose anticipation for the game and it spools the game for people and people don't buy it 
Who are the frontline representatives that get hurt the most? The devs. If the game underperforms, guess what happens? People lose their jobs. They don't get compensated the way they should. Further, which is the point that you're trying to debate out here, right? Or they don't get any bonuses. So you're actually hurting your colleagues by doing something silly like this. I understand doing an expose, sitting with Jason Schreier or another group and going over secrets within the company. That's different. But to spoil your colleagues hard earned work is stupid in case number one of cutting off your nose to spite your face, as I said in my bumper. Secondly, this just overall is a stain on the community, right? And I say so, you know, in large part due to those fanboys of other platforms that are celebrating this, right? Let me give you an example why this is another, another example of cutting off your nose to spite your face. What if, let's take Halo for example. Now, um, a year for, uh, prior to this recording, Halo was reported to be quote unquote in trouble because a couple people left and went on to do new things. I never thought that that made Halo in trouble. I just thought it was an interesting take because people are leaving Microsoft or Xbox rather at a time to when Xbox is supposed to be at its biggest hype, like it's supposed to be at its biggest conversion. So if you're leaving now, it's like, do you not have faith in this conversion? And the two and the people that left Halo, they went to this game called Scavenger, and it's not quite Halo. I'll just leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. Um. So that, I, but as far as people saying they were concerned over the health and stability of Halo, I wasn't buying that, right? Like if, if Halo is gonna be in trouble, it's gonna be because of stuff that happened prior to these two people leaving, right? And the way that they're structured at 343, it wasn't that big of a deal, okay? Well, let's just say if Halo, for instance, um, those two people that left, instead of going to work on the scavenger game, they did what these Naughty Dog employees did because they felt like they weren't, weren't getting compensated fairly enough. We know Xbox isn't known for crunch, but what if the compensation they thought wasn't good, right? What if they thought the compensation was porous? And instead of just talking about the practices at Xbox, they went and leaked Halo Infinite, everything about it, the ending, all that stuff, what was being done, and just completely killed major plot things and stuff going on in the game for potential purchase or p potential people getting in on game pass well now i know what's going on i don't care now you right you know what i'm saying what if that happens so this is not something that you want to celebrate gamers because it could happen look it could happen to you i take a saying from my good friend chase of stadia talk and he works with me quite often um on stadia related content big ups to him great guy right um he says a saying that, that I just relish it every time he says it. The saying goes, first, they came for the butcher and I said nothing. Then they came for the barber and I said nothing. Then they came for me and there was no one left to help me. So in other words, don't get all creamy knuckled and celebrate this because this is happening to Last of Us. Because if you sit in the signal to devs that this stuff, this type of stuff works when you're not happy, then guess what? Your game is gonna be next. All right. And lastly, because of the aforementioned platform Stadia, I see I separate my Stadia content from here because I, I am very self-aware of who the viewership base is here and who the viewership base is elsewhere. And y'all really ain't digging the Stadia stuff right right now. And that'll all come to pass soon. With that being said, the reason why, the big reason why that I'm heavily embroiled in our community is just because of the train of thought. Like, they're not so much of celebrating the ills of other platforms opposed to celebrating the potential and the stuff that they're being shown off of Stadia. Like, for instance, there's a high potential that game consoles will not come out this year because of coronavirus, right? That is not being celebrated over there. It would benefit Stadia if that happens, but that's not being celebrated. It's being discussed, but everybody there routinely says, but we hope everything comes out so all gamers can enjoy what they have to look forward to. And I don't see that here from this. 
To me, that's why the encryption on the thumbnail was all time low. This is all time low. And for those of you right now, what I'm gonna do, if you wanna see where community is just about the games, opposed to just straight up hate, you know what I'm saying? Um, check out that that card above, above, uh, above in this in this video right now. Come and check us out. Check out Stadia Super Saturday. Check out a lot of the content that we create. Come on over to Stadia Dosage, man, where we just celebrate gaming via that platform, and we really don't drag down anybody else. All right. But with that said, yo, it's kind of disgusting and kind of repulsive, and it's kind of stupid, all in the same, <laughs> all in the same notion. This is not what gaming is about. It's not what gamers are about. And lastly, even if you don't care, you're cutting off your nose to spite your face because your game could be next. And, and devs, the, the, the Einsteins, the Mensa candidates that did this, you are now take, snatching food out of your fellow developers' mouths. If all, if all this information that we've been given is true and is accurate, that's exactly what you're doing. So you're, you're nothing but a bunch of jackasses as well. And with that said, that's it from your boy MM2K. Let me know what y'all think about what I had to say in the comment section below, because like I always say, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Those links will lead you to the Broadband Bullies, PNTS Network, Hard Knock Digital Culture, and yes, the Stadia Dosage. And with that being said, you all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.